I had an eyelash in my eye um, before my music lesson. My dad had a detached retina many years ago and uh, they fixed it and uh, he doesn't really overstate things. But he said it was really bad when he lost vision in one eye. I don't think he said it was really painful. It was just, I know he fell. I, rem I remember hearing him fall. Because suddenly he couldn't see in one eye. Pirate flag. Um, I could really go into this, but like how this is a guitar video, shut the fuck up, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, um, anyways, um, so they did laser surgery on, I think, both of his eyes, but only one of his eyes, they put a new lens, an artificial lens in his eye, um, and ever since then, he probably hates me talking about this, he, he, he has, body issue images and um, it's so bad that he doesn't even talk about it <laughs> like if you know him you know he does but uh, yeah he's he's stoic he's sto he, he's very emotional and like like no one no one who knew him like anyone who knew him like meet him well uh, like a hamburger. <laughs> it's just, I'm stupid. No, my dad is not a hamburger. Okay, um, anyone who like slightly knew him knew, would know he's emotional, but there's something underneath that. And there's something underneath that, which I'm just beginning to see. And uh, to be brutally honest, uh, the fact that I'm seeing either the third or fourth layer of the underbelly of a psyche. You know, I've been worried a lot of, for a long time about my parents growing old and dying. I wish them life. I feel like the more I talk about them dying, the more I'm, it's, it's like I'm praying for it, <laughs> which I'm not. Um, no, really, um, like, I can, I can bitch and scream about how my life is bad because of my parents and how my life is fucking awesome because of my parents, um, but, yeah, I'm just, I don't know, like, I don't know what they're gonna do to me when, when my parents are gone. Like, I still have enough my faith and hope that my parents have my best interest at heart and that my parents are the people who care the very most about me. And all the evidence I've, I, I don't think I've ever been proven wrong. I don't, I don't think I've ever met anyone who cares about me more than my parents. And, uh, I have a girlfriend and she loves me and I'm not, I want to be with her for a very long time, ODSP. Uh, and uh, I mean, it, okay, idyllically, is that how you say it, idyllically, idyllically? Uh, Adirectly, all parents would care about their children the way my parents care about me. 
I don't know, I'm <laughs> totally locked out <laughs> about that. Um, uh, so, when I say no one and between the lines, I kind of say, including my girlfriend, cares about me as much as my parents. I love my girlfriend. What I'm saying, it, it's like my parents are going up. That doesn't mean my girlfriend's going down. There's a joke there, but <laughs> my girlfriend loves me like more than anyone reasonably should. More than <laughs> if I may, like uh, she doesn't like to be talked about. But uh, if I if I may say this, my girlfriend loves me more than, um, or I said, I feel that she loves me more than, um, more than, uh, a rational person. <laughs> you know, we both have a lot invested into each other. And, uh, as I said, I, I want to keep that going, uh, relationship advice my dad gave me was it's better to stick around because he's been divorced uh, and I hope anyone who is watching this um, there's you know you know I talk about people I I've been I've been keeping the talking about people at a minimum I don't even know what I was saying, just basically, it's like, we, there, there's my mom, my dad, and me, and I'm their biological son, and I have a brother on my dad's side, but there are the three of us in this house, and we are essentially the nuclear family, which is a concept, I hope, look it up if you, and, uh, it's like leave it to Beaver 2016. <laughs> like Beaver is uh, 32 years old, stuck in front of the computer all the time, <laughs> just <laughs> doing everything. I, I mean, I hope I'm trying my best. I can't even, you know, even I trick myself. You know, like I'm talking about like. My parents lie to me and this and that, and like, I lie to myself. <laughs> and I talk about the layers of my dad's sadness and oh, uh, you know, um, if there's, you know, they say there's seven layers of hell, <laughs> there's way, <laughs> the, the, the hell of my mind has, Go, there's, it's a, it's a much bigger building. <laughs> it's a bigger building, so the elevator, the layers of hell, and I guess heaven. Uh, but yeah, government said you can't get off on a floor higher than this. So <laughs> yeah, that's my own fault. But the government also said you can't get off at a floor lower than this. Hey, hey, lithium. <laughs> okay, I want a cigarette, but I'm going to smoke guitar. Did I say smoke guitar? I'm gonna play guitar. Mm. So this is Elliot Smith between the bars. Oh, 
shit, man.
that mean the chord.